is that you help people with. So is a lot of the work that you've maybe brought in during lockdown or that you're working on currently is, are a lot of your clients um, sort of in that transition phase where they're really trying to, I guess, amplify their online presence? Oh, definitely, definitely. A lot of them are starting to use it, like techniques, like they're looking at Google Ads more, they're looking at social media more. I think they're very aware that they have to really go out there on an online space and, you know, really get, get, put themselves in front of their customers, really push themselves out there. And, you know, like, it's so interesting. Like, a lot of people are saying social media, it's like, they're like, oh, we, it's been on the to-do list for so long, you know, it's been on the to-do list. And, you know, it's so understandable because they, you know, these business owners are doing so much themselves and they're trying to pivot and they're trying to adapt and, you know, the to-do list endless. And it's almost like, you know, they're aware that they need to be in the digital space because we live in a digital first world now. And it's like, it's undeniable. And that's not saying that there isn't, you know, space for offline. That still is so important, but so much now does happen online that, they were like, oh, well, I set up, you know, I, had, I set up social media profiles and I've maybe post once every two months and I haven't really thought about it. And now they're thinking, oh, I actually do need to be here and I need to build this, I need to get this out there. Or, you know, with Google Ads, you know, that's quite a big one for people at the moment. And they're just, I think, very aware that this is something either I need to learn or I need to get some help with or I need to understand it a bit better because... I can't rely on what I was doing before. I need to start building up a presence now. So it's, de- like, it's definitely very, it's interesting and it's great to hear that they are taking interest in it. But yeah, it, more, rather than people saying, oh, I just never considered it. They were just like, it just didn't seem like a priority. And now it's such a priority. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think too, it probably depends on your industry. So for a lot of us who are freelancers or creatives, I think, <laughs> a big part of our job is kind of being online and creating that online presence and social media is so good for us for networking and things like that. But I think probably in different industries, it's not quite as prevalent or maybe wasn't until now. So it totally makes sense that people have maybe set things up, but not focused on it. And now they're going, right, I'm going to shift my focus. And I think, Mm -hmm. um, so you brought up Google ads, which I know absolutely zero about. And I know a lot of people are in the same boat. They're kind of, um, they find it to be a little bit of a minefield and wouldn't feel maybe comfortable setting it up or giving it a go. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about Google ads, what it can do for your business? And maybe if you feel, um, if you feel really generous and want to share a few tips about getting started. Yeah, of course, of course. So like, I love, I love Google ads. Like I say, it's something I've been doing like all through my career, like since this very start. And it's just such a great tool for getting yourself in front of people when they are, they are directly searching for products that you want. Uh, sorry. So when they are directly searching for your products, your services, your business, it's a fantastic way to raise awareness because you can really get your brand in front of any large audience. And it's also a great way for like direct response too because it has tools to get you people at the top of the funnel, right the way down to like the end of the funnel. You know, there's so many different techniques you can use to get people at different pros at different stages of the purchase journey. It's such a clever tool. It's so handy. I absolutely love it. I am a bit obsessed. <laughs> I, always, I, I am. I just think it's so, and I was, I was, because I'm a little bit um, nerdy as well, you get so much data. Um, there are some things, data that Google is kind of pulling away from us, unfortunately. And now, you know, I'll talk about that in a wee bit when I'm giving you some tips. But, you know, there's lots of things you can see. You can set up so much tracking. So you, you can really follow it from, you know, this ad is working. This is getting results. I can see the results. I can see the purchases. I can see the sales. And there's so many options. You can get people, you know, when they're searching on Google's you know, search platform itself, you can have shopping ads, you can use YouTube, you can have video ads, you can do some really smart targeting on websites with, you know, image ads, videos, you know, rich media. There's so many options you can do there. And do you know what? Google, Google knows everything about everyone. It's like, you know, we're all watching the documentaries now and we're all being about like, oh, this is scary. You know, and you can, as an advertiser, it's great to be able to take advantage of those really smart, intelligent tools and like they're very sophisticated AI um, options. 
um you know as a consumer i'm sometimes a bit like oh that's google knows quite a lot about me but there's so much you can do there and there's so much that advertisers can take advantage of i think the main thing that stops people doing it themselves is that they just don't really understand the platform to be honest or you know again people are so busy you know it takes and it does take time to learn and master and it's definitely not something you can just set and forget but it's just yeah i love it it's just <laughs> i'm like rhapsodizing now i love it it's such a handy tool oh but see that's so good and it's nice that you're so passionate about it because i think for any business owner there's probably parts of your job and your business that you love and parts that you don't love so much so like for me i love all of the creative side of it so i really like creating content whether it's um social media posts or writing that i'm doing blogging or obviously taking photos what i don't like is the sort of behind the scenes like i really don't like numbers so i don't like anything to do with bookkeeping or accounting or tax returns um and i've you know like i said i've never tried google ads but that is a minefield that um i don't feel as you said part of it's a time thing but part of it is just that's not where my um what's the right word here that's not where my strengths lie whenever it comes to anything sort of with technology I know that that's not my strong point so um I know that this is something that you do in a service that you offer clients which is so so great but would you have any tips for anyone who maybe wants to give it a go themselves or just take a look at the platform and kind of have a play with it yeah definitely I think the first thing that's so important is just go in with a plan like people you know sometimes I talk to people who are trying it for the first time and they're like oh, I just went in and I just like threw some things out there and I just did it really quickly. And I think sometimes you need to take that step back. And this is the same with any, any channel, but you know, you, this is an advertising platform. So just take a step back. Like, who are you targeting? Who is your audience? Who are you going after? You know, what bits of your business do you want to promote? I sometimes talk to people and it's almost as if they've sort of separated anything digital from like the wider marketing strategy and you don't want to do that you want to make sure you are going in there with a game plan you know what success is it's it complements the offline activity you're doing complements your wider strategy and it's part of it rather than being something like oh i just kind of have that on the side and i just kind of tried it really quickly i didn't really you know go in with a plan you know you don't you don't want that because at the end of the day it is ads and it's you're getting your brand out there in front of so many people you want to make sure that you're getting the most out of it so absolutely have a strategy have a game plan work out what your goals are what success looks like what you want to promote that will set you up that will help you so much <laughs> when you're then setting up the account and structuring and budgets and all that kind of stuff if you have something you can look at in a bit of direction it's going to make your life so much easier later down the, later down the line next thing is just get to grips with the platform so google ads does take a little bit of time to get to grips with it how it all works you want to make sure that you really understand like the different options you can have so the different networks that you can run ads on different types of ads how and um, things like the ad auction works just so you can really get a feel for like how this all comes together this is quite a lot i mean i I'd say i love google ads and once you really get to grips with it it's fantastic and it all does make sense but there's so much that affects something else in the account and there's so you know if you're asking someone about you know how does it work out how much you pay for every time click someone clicks on your ad there's actually quite a lot of factors that come into play there and you really have to understand how it all works together and even just you know thinking about different ad types that you can play around with if you can understand what you're you know what you've got there then you can really work out how to make the most of it and like what is right for the business so even the stuff that seems like you know a little bit less exciting like some people are like oh i'm really keen on what the ad types are like but then you mention you know the ad auction which works out you know what you're paying and they're just like oh i really don't want to deal with that yeah. but it's so you know so it's so very important to make sure you're actually getting the most out of it which kind of leads me on to the next point. Google is really pushing for more automation. It's something that, you know, us in the PPC community are just seeing more and more and more of Google is trying to automate more. And there's advantages and disadvantages to that because if you don't quite understand how everything works and you're like, I'll just automate it, I'll just automate it all, that can actually have a bit of a negative effect because Google's or you know as great as Google's tools are and as powerful as they are at the end of the day I think you have to remember that Google is a company if Google's a company that is you know making money 
and you see things like you know what google what google determines as a close match to your targeting you sometimes look at and be like no that is way left field and you have to then use tools like the targeting tools to bring that back in and to make sure you're getting you're using the automation in a way that works for you but controlled and you know enough about the platform so you can say well I can automate that but here I'm setting up the parameters and I know what's going to work for me and I'm making sure that you know I'm careful about it and also because you know Google is pulling back a bit of the information that it's giving to advertisers now so sometimes you have to again know enough about the platform to know how to do the you know uh, workarounds to find you know if Google's not going to give you certain bits of data how do you go out there and make sure you're still controlling when your ad is showing making sure you're reaching the right people um, and that's not to put people off the automated tools because some of them are amazing and once you really understand this how it works and what's being automated and you know find where to find your data and you're very comfortable with it you can run tests you can see what works for you you can check different ways of automating things or different ways things that you maybe want to control yourself could you find you're getting better results that way it just gives you a lot more power and a lot more control over your brand, your ads, when things are appearing. And do you know what? To be absolutely frank, it makes sure your money goes further and you're not just saying, Google, take my money. <laughs> it's like making the tools work for you rather than making it work for Google's bottom line. So definitely something to think about. Get to grips with it, but don't rely on it wholly. The other thing to really think about is your audience. Never, you know, Sometimes in digital, you risk it becoming like a faceless mass of digital users when actually you've got to think about who you're targeting. You know, it's going to affect everything from the types of keywords you use, the types of custom audiences you set up, your ads, you know, where are your audience looking for your product? Are they using Google shopping tools? Are they, do they tend to use websites? Is it a long or short purchase journey? Do you have to use other tools like free marketing to like get them back or is it like an instant purchase? Because all that's going to affect your account, how you set things up. And a huge thing right now is think about your audience intent because that's going to affect your targeting. It's going to affect your ad copy. A lot. Of, some people just think, you know, you set up an ad and that's it. Never it. <laughs> you always have to be testing new ads, thinking about intent. And that can change, you know, people their intent the problems that they want your ad to say it's going to solve the pain points all that comes into it and you really have to know what they want at different times different seasons what affects it so yeah really come into grips you know, i speak to a lot of people and it's like well who are you targeting they're like oh anyone anyone who's gonna buy my product and you're like we have to take a step back and it kind of comes back to you know going into this with um, a strategy and a game plan and a targeted approach because it's really going to help your account to be more effective and understanding your audience is such a huge thing about that. I think the last thing is just, you know, looking at your landing pages on your website. So another thing I get a lot is people assume that, you know, Google ads are kind of siloed off to the site. Whereas, you know, once they click on your ad, is it a good experience? Is it a good website? Um, you know, going back to your service are the product images good is it appealing you know it's not something that lives in a silo you know if you want to get the most out of it you know you've done you ran the ads you've got people onto your website you know they're excited you're, you're addressing the pain points they want to like find out more but then if it's a bad experience and they can't navigate the site or if the product imagery is not that great or you know it's just it's slow then they're going to just jump away and click on another competitor so you really have to think about what that landing page experience is like and you know how does that work and actually if you've got really good landing pages that can also help other areas of your account it can help raise the quality of it um google might decide that actually this is very relevant to these searches so you might actually be able to get secure future traffic for a lower cost per click so see what i mean it all ties into each other there's a lot to consider um, I'm just aware of like that's a lot of points to consider but really if you can get to grips with those fundamentals and if that's the mindset you're going in with it then you're setting yourself up to do better right from the start. Those are great tips thanks and thanks for explaining a little bit about why that's so important so from what I got out of that the main things are that we want to make sure that you're actually putting a strategy in place 
spending a little bit of time trying to understand the platform rather than just jumping on and doing your ad right away um, and really thinking about who your target audience is. And I think, I mean, that really goes with every form of marketing that you do as well. It's so easy. As